With that, I want to move on to showing you some examples of um, what students did last semester. And um, so here we have a web, uh, a leaderboard. Let me double click on it. Um, so, and this is um, kind of zoomed in a little bit. I think the leaderboard when she made it was um, pretty small. Um, so that's why you see some pixelization here, but it wasn't really designed to be that big. Um, so, and we have like a nice gradient here of color, and she's put in like a color, like a design behind that, that she, an asset that she imported, um, like a graphic, and then faded um, into this other color here. That's called, use, using this feature, is called a gradient in Photoshop, which means basically taking two colors and then in the middle, merging them together um, to form like a, a fade. So, um, and then we have her photo that she inserted and kind of um, modified the edges so that they blend in well here. Um, next, we have um, by the same student. So you can see, so this is a different size. Um, this is, I think the square or maybe the large rectangle size web banner. And um, you can see here, um, so she's using the same photo. She um, resized it. She has to make sure that when she resizes it, she's getting the original from a high resolution, um, not going from the little to big, but a bigger version, um, put it in here. Um, and nice use of, of putting it in the corner, um, her, her kind of elbow there, so she's not... Um, floating in space considering it's a profile picture so you should, the, originally she probably didn't even have her shoulder on there um, and then also she used the crop tool the lasso tool to crop out her um, her profile photo and then put um, this kind of background and she actually did a little bit of design work on that background herself playing around with some of the um, the swatch and brushes in Photoshop and then um, finding a nice font Make sure that you have the um, whatever text um, to be as big as it possibly can be. Um, I might have an example where a student had it um, pretty small and didn't quite work out. Um, and here's just a, a slightly different version of that one that she did. Um, here's another student. Um, here's an example where the font, um, the text is, is really big. So if she just had maybe up the top here um, you know, her name in a small font and, and going all the way across the top and not really taking up that space, then, um, then that really wouldn't, wouldn't work. Because remember that most of the time when, when we show these um, in class, we're kind of zooming in, and this is about twice the size of like the 200%. So um, it may be even her profile there is probably too small for what it would look like at 100%. Um, really, it'd probably be better if she wanted to have her her face in there to, to crop it so it's really just a head and shoulders and mostly just headshot and making her head um, kind of be much fill up this whole um, bottom quarter of the, the image um, because when I zoom out to 100% then she's, she's pretty little um, in there so here's another one um, and you can see this so this is um oops I'm looking at a, um, my my computer is in a um, higher resolution mode right now, and so it makes this photo look pretty small. And even when I look at the web pages um, instantly, there it um, looks at it pretty small, except for the I have the font set bigger, so automatically it makes any text larger. Um, but you can see there, I mean, her head is pretty teeny over here. If this is a hundred percent. Um, so I can click on it to um, get a better view and zoom in a little bit, and um, it looks better here. So maybe even if it was more, granted, she, the, the size of the um, the banner web banner size that she's working with is very long and narrow. So you know, in that consideration, maybe having a photo like that in there just doesn't work out. And mostly just working with text. Um, so, but if she had a web banner size that where it's just um, if you take out the two sides where it's like the blue um, fades on each side and just had it in the middle with her um, profile uh, picture and her name and then the texture in the middle um, and made it bigger, then that would be, you know, her, her face would be fair, fairly big enough to pick it up. Um, 
and it would that would would work for that kind of different web banner size, I think. Um, and then I think I have a couple more. Okay, here's another one um, that Bella did. It doesn't really it doesn't have any text in it. Um, oh yeah, it does have her name here. It was so subtle. Um, I would almost even say I would, I would want those letters to to kind of come out and be more bold because I didn't instantly I, I you the thing you gravitate first towards is her face because it's ringed by these roses. Um, so maybe trying to to stress the contrast of those letters would be better and fill up more of that space. Um, and she threw the, the little B in there. Um, just trying to kind of be creative and, and work on her Photoshop skills. So I don't know, I mean, I don't I don't mind having the B thrown in there, um, kind of out of context, yeah, just because she's trying to push her Photoshop skills. And then uh, we have one more, a couple more. And uh, so here, we have um, a banner, and I think this is good because the, the face here, so he actually scanned in a photo of his face and, um, and did an etching at, uh, like of it using a couple of the Photoshop filters. I mean, that's a little bit, that's beyond what we're doing in the course, but he wanted to, to push his knowledge. And notice that it's, it's, it's taken up almost half of the whole real estate here. And with a small banner, again, this is probably 200% that we're looking at, not 100%. Um, you really want that any kind of photo facial feature to be pretty big, um, and then we have his little abbreviation for his site, um, which is ACIS, and then um, his name up top. I mean, the the font is fairly simplistic, but I think it goes with the look he has here. And then we have one more. And this one, this is another one where, you know, the face looks fine when we really blow it up. But at the real web banner size, that would be more like that on a page. It, it's pretty tiny. So just, you know, granted, this is for a Photoshop assignment where we're learning. So I'm not going to take off points of that. She took time to use the lasso tool um, to crop out her face um, from a photo and then copy it and paste it into Photoshop and play around with, um, with rotating it. Um, and uh, and then she's also um, working hard on the fonts here and doing this. That's a couple of fonts effects that we see um, with the outlining, and um, and then also um, finding some external assets like designs, like the little kind of wireframe here, and um, putting that twice and just flipping it. Um, so I like the creativity um, in this one as well. So in Last semester, I didn't give them the event option, which is why you have all these web banners that I'm showing that are focused on um, on something they might be able to include on their website. So you all have the extra option of, of just trying to do an event advertisement like I showed you in class. So um, yeah, I hope everyone's getting some good progress on your Photoshop activities. And again, uh, I really urge you to consult you know, multiple times a day the, uh, the Moodle page because it has all the information you need. And again, if there's any other specific question, just email me and I'll get back to you pretty fast. So good luck, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Tuesday.